Hey, good morning everybody. This is Laura with McLeod Homestead and I am currently on my way to the hardware store for our next project. I have four semi brake drums that were brought home when I went and saw my son that I am going to clean up and we are going to use them for flower pots. So today we are back at it and we are going to work on this project. I have these brake drums from the semis. I've got four of them all together and we are going to turn them into flower pots. And I'm going to show you how we do it. Um, I have two out front that are actually off of, oh, I don't know exactly what you would call it, like an axle that brings your double wides in. I had two of them and they're bigger than this, obviously. So I'm going to show you how we did it. It had to have been almost 15 years ago, 16 years ago, maybe. And I have not had to paint them or do any maintenance, and they have not moved, just so you know, since they were placed there. So the first thing I need to do is get all the loose stuff off because, as you can see, there's a lot that you can just flick and peel with your hands. So before I do anything, I am going to take the air nozzle because power washer would be great. Unfortunately, the air no or the nozzles for mine are broken. Don't know what happened to them. So I'm going to use the air compressor and we're going to go from there. Even I'm smart enough that working with this, I will wear safety glasses. The safety glasses I normally would use got tossed. They got all scratched because being outside, I like the sunglasses tight. So unfortunately, all I've got right now are my good prescription sunglasses. But something's better than... try this two ways my son told me to use brake cleaner to help get the crap off before we didn't so we'll see which way works better we're gonna go straight <laughs> Now let's spray some brake cleaner.
So the next thing I'm going to do, sorry if you can hear the air compressor, but the next thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to take some of this brake cleaner and just start wiping it all off, get the dust off. And is this perfect? Absolutely not. Do I care if it's perfect? Absolutely not. But the main majority is all off and the paint will hold. And these holes, I'm not worried about being perfect for the simple fact it's going to be on the ground. That's where the worms and the water is going to go in and out. It's not 100% perfect, but it is perfect enough for me. On this one, I need to get a cleaner, which I have an idea what I'm going to use to get all this mud and crap off of it. And then I got that one to do. And another one down there. So on this one, I went over to the greenhouse and I got toilet brush because, you know, who doesn't have a toilet brush in their greenhouse? Let me show you what I'm going to do. there's like really thick so that would take forever this is gonna get loud for a second but what I'm doing is taking my hammer and it gets a lot of it off Now, why always just have black or brown? We've got pink. We've got this one to go. And one more down here. And my little guy wants a blue one. All right, guys. We got both of them placed here. Don't mind the weeds. I got a weed eat yet. But behind me, is a bucket of good dirt that I had when I uh, ordered the super soil last year that the extra I've kept in the greenhouse so I've got about six six or seven buckets of these over in the greenhouse which is right behind me that I will use to fill the drums with and then I have leftover potting soil from last year that I will also mix in with it
Now that should be plenty full enough. So that way I have room at the end of the year, beginning of spring of next year, I can put more good soil in. But I'll mix it up here real quick. Then we'll wet it. I got the other one to do yet. Now that the water has soaked down in, I am just going to plant an artichoke plant in each one of these. Now, as long as you cover the artichoke plant, it will come back in the spring. There. Two more artichoke plants are now done and in the ground or in the pots. Two more pots to go. As you can see, we're back in front of the grill cooking dinner. Mama's having some coffee. And tonight, what is on the plate is my son's babysitter slash friend who helps me in the mornings when I work took my son to a fishing derby on Saturday while I was at work and they got three rainbow trout so we are having lemon peppered trout and of course you cannot have fresh fish without ranch flavored homemade french fries and what goes good with it all but some corn on the cob. So that's what we're cooking all of it out on the grill tonight for dinner. But we got two of the four drums done. So I am very pleased with that. The other two I will work on on my next day off in a couple days. And I'll get them done. I'll show you them in another video. I'm just really happy and pleased that we are able to finally get this project video out to you um hope you really like this video i hope you like share and subscribe and i hope to see you on the next one thanks for watching guys toodles